Numbers in Aramaic. There are two ways of writing numbers. One are cardinal numbers that are used for counting, one, two, three, etc. And I haven't reproduced the complete list of those that occur in Biblical Aramaic, but you can find them in Alger John's grammar on page 87. Ordinal numbers are used for ordering, such as first, second, third, etc. And you can see those on John's page 88. Now, for the numbers 3 to 10, the numerals that are apparently feminine looking in form are used with masculine nouns and vice versa. This is similar to what you find in Hebrew. The masculine number two occurs in construct in Biblical Aramaic, while the other numbers occur in the construct very rarely in Biblical Aramaic. Numbers can occur with pronouns as well as with nouns, such as the two of them. The number one is used as an adjective and as a noun and can sometimes appear as an indefinite article. The ordinal numbers are formed with the ending kametz yod. Ordinal numbers can occur in both the absolute <clears throat> and determined state. So there are several numerical formulas. Um, for example, the dating of events, in this kind of formula, you have the word year, shanat, in construct to the number, shanat tartain, and then of the king, and then the name of the king. In order to represent days, you have the word day in construct to the number and then of the month of and whatever month it is. Age. We have uh, a place in Daniel where this occurs and here we use the, the term sun. Uh, approximately the sun of years um, 60 and 2. So this is used with the construct of the verb bar, son of. So son of years 60 and 2. And it means 62 years old. Multiplication, as in number of times, for example. We have that in Daniel 3.19, Chad Shiva, meaning seven times. And we have a couple of fractions that, have, that occur in Biblical Aramaic. Halag, meaning one half, or Talta, meaning one third. And this occurs in the context where it talks about Daniel and his friends being given something like a the through a third of the kingdom each or the kingdom being divided in three or something like that.